Hello guys, Colonel Ninny here. In lesson six, we're going to look at the aileron roll, the split S, and the inside loop maneuvers. By practicing them, it will help you understand how your aircraft behaves in each maneuver. And your ability to employ all this information will be apparent when you enter your first dogfight. We've used the ailerons to roll the aircraft into an angle of bank. But if we maintain those same aileron inputs, we'll be able to roll the aircraft through 360 degrees. But now we complicate things by having to control the pitch and the yaw at the same time to maintain level flight. The SPAD was one of the more powerful of the Allied aircraft and it's sustaining airspeed and altitude that is critical in being able to complete these maneuvers. We roll in just fine, but we don't have the combined performance to sustain us throughout the 360 degrees. Part of the problem was the carbureted engines which caused the engine to fail once we're in inverted flight. So we lose speed and altitude, the nose drops, but we have completed a 360 degree roll. Likewise, a soft with camel can do a successful left hand roll, but the nose drops at the end. Again, it's not pretty, but we do manage to achieve the 360 degree roll. Is there any difference in rolling to the right with this rotary engine? We can roll to 180 degrees, but that's it. And then what happens? Well, we've seen this part before. Stall, secondary stall, incipient spin, full spin. Clearly not what we had in mind. Allow me to jump forward 25 years to 1944. With 1850 horsepower under the hood, the Messerschmitt BF 109 K4 had more than ample power for the performance it required to do this maneuver. And typical of the better designed and higher powered uh, aircraft of this uh, era, it could even do a vertical roll. But let's get back to the reality of World War I and Flying Circus. In order to perform any aerobatic maneuver, we have to overcome these design and performance problems by being creative. Meanwhile, back in our trusty old FALS D3A, we're flying straight and level at 1400 RPM. We're going to lower the nose to convert our altitude to airspeed. We'll use this added energy to pull us all the way through the roll. A split S is a half roll 180 degrees, then a downwards loop coming out level at a lower altitude. And all our aircraft in Flying Circus should be able to perform this maneuver without a problem. As we enter the maneuver, we're going to hold the nose up very slightly just above the horizon and hold it all the way until we've rolled inverted. With the wings level and a steady back pressure on the stick, we'll create a nice arc through the air to the bottom of the loop. Bring the nose up to level, add your power, and there you go. Hey, wait a minute. Doesn't this look like some kind of a dogfighting maneuver? Let's just take it one step at a time, kids. Learn to get it right. An inside loop is a very simple maneuver. You start off level, you pull the nose up, keep going over the top, creating a loop and coming back down to find level again. So realistically, what do you think our chances are of being able to do this successfully just from a level start? 
If you said, not very likely, give yourself a biscuit, you've been paying attention. We don't have the performance to be able to do this properly. Once again, we need to be creative by converting our altitude to airspeed. Give it a few seconds to build up the speed. And at max RPM, raise the nose gently, keeping the wings level with the horizon. Look right to see you're going through 90 degrees. Behind you, make sure the wings are parallel to the horizon and bring it on through, back to level. You'll need to keep the power on all the way through, otherwise you won't get over the top. What we're looking for is nice, gentle, controlled movements. Smooth. Raising the nose smoothly all the way through keeping the pressure, looking for the horizon, coming down again, keeping the power on, looking for the horizon again, and back up. If you've enjoyed this video and get some value out of it, please leave a comment and uh, subscribe and like and all those usual things. But if you want to see more of these videos, specifically with the IL-2 uh, Battle of Stalingrad, got about 150 training videos for you to look at. So thanks for watching guys, we'll see you next time.